Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I am here with one more interesting video and before going into that, please check out my channel, check the different videos, different problem statement if it helps, please do like the video, subscribe my channel and follow for more uh, Power BI updates. Uh, coming back to the problem, I wouldn't say it's a problem, it's more of a uh, thing that uh, we wanted to learn about what are the things we should have an option as in like bar chart and what are the different kind of things that you can build it on. So let me straight away start. Let's say it, it, it's a tutorial video for a bar chart. Like we will go through from A to Z on the bar chart. So let's see. So what I can do, I will just remove these things. I was just trying to do something. So let's say we have a bar chart here. Uh, so basically cluster bar chart, we are trying to see here and we are going to see, let's say by region, or let's say by segment, uh, we can create a bar, uh, cluster bar chart. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me put region. And I have created a one calculated call, uh, measure that is nothing but the sum of sales and that I'm going to use here. So this is what it looks like. And let me let's enhance this thing as a part of, let's say, since if we have a data label, we have the data label, so we do not need the X axis. So we can just remove the X axis data points and the uh, as a thing, like if you see here, we have the regions. So I guess we do not, which is well understood. So we can remove the title for the Y axis as well here. So we can have the title. Now, what are the things that we can try different things? Let's change the color of a bar chart also. Let's make it a bit more, looks better. Uh, let me take it this green. So this is what we have. Uh, now, what I can do, it's like, let's see the title. Uh, sales by region. Let me have this on the center. And if you see here right now, what happens? This title is quite stick to the border actually. So is there a way like we can just try to pull it down? So what we can do, we can go into this general property and padding option. Right now it's uh, zero. Let me have that as 10 or I can have 15 as well. Yes, so 15 looks good. Okay, 15 is there. And then in title, what else we can do a divider line. So this looks perfect. Like if you see title divided by a line, and then we have a visual border. If you see this, it looks a bit more realistic, better as compared to the very raw table that we have. The second thing I have added the labels at the end. So how we can also think, let's say, what are the different ways of positioning the different uh, labels? So what we can do, go to this, select the series, whichever we have, since we have only one series here, and then we have the position. So it can be inside end. If you see, it's like this and we can also change the color of that also. So let's say if I want to have an inside end, I can have the black color. But let's say if I want to have outside end like this, or we can have the center option. Center option comes, looks better when the bar is just having a border, not the whole fully filled uh, bar. So we can, what I mean to say is like this. If I just go to bar layout, let me have the border and color transparency, make it zero. So this is the case when you can have the center aligned and it looks more better. So right now I'm not going with that. So let me do this option with select. Then what are the else option? We can also have the inside base also. So let's say if you have some want to have a percentage change value or something like this, then this might, might help that, okay, West has 245K sales with allowed so-and-so percentage change with respect to, let's say, furniture or let's say previous year or something like this. So that is the one option. Uh, let, but as of now, I'm going with, uh, let's say, outside. That will make more sense to me, particular to this. This looks more better. And now comes to what are the different... We can add the details as well. As of now, we do not require it. Background, we can have it, chart background. We can make it similar to, let's say, what we have, let's say this. Oh, uh, no, background. As of now, since it's a white, it, I don't think so it will 
have that kind of an impact if you see you can do that depends on the requirement uh, then comes so this is the one version that actually you can have in enhance your dashboard or something like this but uh, let's say instead of region you are looking uh, let's take a product name now it's a whole cluttered thing is there, right? It doesn't, you cannot even read this thing or something like this. So if it's, so try to, let's say, enhance this particular kind of thing. So what I can do, I will just select and let have top N products. Uh, for example, let me have the five products and some of sales here. So we have certain kind of five products we have. What else we can improve on this is like, so what I have created is like dummy measure here. Okay. And let me have this dummy measure here also. So we have this dummy measure and the color. Now I will straight away go to the bar. I will just select the sum of sales and let me first change the color because we want the green color looks more better here. Then what I can do is turn off the legend. We do not require that thing. Then we, we can go to the data labels. Let's select the dummy. We do not want any data labels outside or something like this. But instead of dummy zero value, we can have the product name. So we have the product name now here. Okay. So we do not require these product name, uh, which are on the axis. We can go again. Sorry. Again to the axis, y axis, values, turn this off. So if you see, this looks more better if you have very long textual format kind of data and it is more presentable also. So we can do a sort axis by sum of sales. So this is it. So this is it. One more thing, I just want to remove the background here. Background, let me remove the background value. I can just make it bold and let me increase the size a bit. So if you see, this looks more better uh, as compared to the other chart what we had earlier. Right. So this is the second enhancement that you can try it out uh, on the bar chart. Uh, what legends is not required. Second grid line is also not required here because it's not something the data. Uh, bar color again, you can play around the bar chart. Let me have a bit more transparent. No, it looks dull. I guess this looks fine. So this is how like you can uh, work on your bar chart, uh, try to figure it out. What are the things you need? What are the things you do not need? And you can enhance your bar chart like this. Uh, hope you are able to follow till this time. Uh, check the other videos also. Please comment if you have any questions or a specific topic that I should be covering out. Other than this, I will happy to cover that. And please follow uh, follow my channel. Thank you so much.